All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try to do these. So it looks like we're going to just run into them one right after the other. Last night we had some major issues right after uh, we got off of this game and we started playing the fishing game. Our internet was cut off so they could fix it, I think. Uh, they said it would be off to 5.30 in the morning, but no warning. What do you want? I have no coin on me. Just information. Has a sellsword passed through here? Gray hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? Bug it off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? So what I was going to say is if for some reason our internet happens to go out tonight, I'm going to try to continue recording up to 30 minutes at wherever we're at, at least 30 minutes. Why am I not surprised? And once we hit the, the 30 minute mark, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And we'll, what I'll do is I'll come back and, uh, you'll hand over your whenever it, it's back on. Henry, I, I said if the internet for some reason cuts off tonight, like it did, uh, what I'm going to do is attempt to. This one. I'm going to continue recording up to the 30 minute mark on the video um, so that the video will have a, a good chunk of it at least. Uh, I will try not to do any main story, though. Probably not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins. A relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt, but merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> Ooh. So, I was not feeling good, and I, I went to bed for a little bit, and I don't know what caused it, but something woke me up just absolutely startled me awake really bad. I don't know what caused it. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A gray-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they uh -oh. eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. So how are y'all doing tonight? Hey, Nameless. Over here. 
I, like I said, I don't know what it was that woke me up, but it was almost like something startled me awake. And I just could not. It's, it's like it, it shook me. Did Joseph's thieves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here? What you doing tonight, Henry? I think we found our thieves. gonna miss um uh, the landslide druid but you know they Let's messed it up to where it, it wouldn't work right stop don't kill him he's just protecting his home joseph so the boy was right i don't know you your porter friend sent me to find you she was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. We're gonna let them live? I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems, or anything they couldn't eat, for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area, and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead, and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food. Ready to die, protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. That goblin's got blonde Once hair. they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Whoa. That is weird. Super weird. They remind me of the minions from uh the Hellraiser game or whatever it's called. Overlord. They're, they, I think the same design, the minions from Overboard. <sighs> we gotta go up this way. So, uh, Henry, what happened last night, apparently... Not again. Right then. Who's first? Apparently, uh, they cut off the internet to fix a lot.
lawn that was cut by another internet company. There's a company that is installing fiber lines around our area, all over our area. And get him. They were digging up the ground and they actually cut a lot of the, the lines that the other companies have had around power lines and uh, internet lines as well. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, yeah. the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward! History awaits! Away. I think we can just get on our choke and bow and go. So, uh, you're, yes, Nameless, um, that's what they're installing is Google Fiber, but it's another company that they've hired to install it for them. It's like when that gas company come through, uh, the natural gas company, they came through installing lines underground on our road, and they cut our internet uh, and phone one. Uh, he's really got himself into trouble this time. So anyway, um, I know you you've heard what happened million times but I don't know that I have ever told Henry about it um, this natural gas company was coming through and they started to put all of these uh, lines in the ground and they come over here in my yard. Over here. Over here. Over here. They come over here in my yard and they start moving stuff in my yard. And I walked out there and I said, hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? Oh, we're going to put lines in. And I'm like, you're not putting any lines in my yard. Oh, yeah, we are. I said, I haven't signed anything Still saying that you could do that. It would seem so. And once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right. Of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my 
ramblings. Glad to help, but... Didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. So, anyway, uh, they were putting lines down, and they're moving stuff in my yard so that they can dig up my yard. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. All right. So they, uh, I walk out there and I'm like, uh, I said, what are y'all doing? Why are y'all in my yard? Oh, we're getting ready to put pipes down. And I, I said, no, you're not digging in my yard. I have not given any permission. We have no idea what you're talking about. He, he says, well, you're getting the benefit of it. You're getting natural gas out of it. I said, we don't have natural gas. Our house doesn't have any kind of gas heating or anything like that. And he says, you don't have gas heating? I said, no. I said, do not dig in my yard or I will call the police and have you escorted off of my property. And, you know, we've got that patio that we've got there in the front yard. They were about to dig that up. And I, I said, if you dig in my yard, you will regret it. And so these idiots go across the road and dig over there. And when they do, they tear up all of the lines that are buried coming down the power pole over there. Every single one of them. Everybody was without internet. And it messed up a few other things people said. So it was... It really ticked me off. <laughs> but, um, they, after they dug all that up, our road was completely mud. And these guys had the nerve to walk in my backyard and try to get my hose pipe and pull it around the front so they could wash the road. And I went out after them again. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. I said, you are not using my water to do that. I have to pay for that, and you are not doing it. Oh, we'll reimburse you. And I said, no, you won't. You're not doing it. And I, I went on out there, and they called their their contractor or whoever was in charge, and their foreman. And he comes down there, and I told him, I said, you are not to set foot in my yard to dig or touch anything, and you are not to use my water. And he's like, I got it. And they went on a few days they were gone and they were doing it to other people. It made me so mad. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Y'all ever had the top of your foot itch and you you scratch it and it's just like, oh my God. You, you like a dog and you want that back foot to... <laughs> I don't know why the top of your foot in that one spot causes that, but man. All right, we have finished those two, and speak with goats. Goats. It, what? How do they pronounce his name? Guts or? Do I... Okay, yeah, yeah. He's up this way. Finally! 
Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Beets and beets. Are they pickled beets, sir? If so, I'll eat my weight. Come on, come on. The caravan stops next Juicy to the Juicy pears. Slake your thirst. What I really want to be is a blacksmith. You're going to do an apprenticeship or something, then? Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank Oops. you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. Ell's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? It wants to be a black side. Right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots. We're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Let's go, baby! I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. 
the chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. I can't stand her. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. I hope somebody takes her down a peg or two. Right quick. Cannot stand her. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the Crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. I vote yes. The kid don't deserve anything. He, you know, but her, yeah. What 
Okay. It's time for a battle, y'all. Woo! Here we go. Oh, my goodness. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! <laughs> this way. I think I played this game before. It was called Uncharted. <laughs> Along the rooftops. I'm sure Gooch is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? or sentry is to be slain on sight. But spare the citizenry. His Highness's orders were clear. The people are to come to know. Those were Imperial Dragoons. Dion's attacking. He's attacking the guard. Is going on. Let's go and see. Right. What is the song in the Final Fantasy? Gets. I don't know which one it's one. It's do 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 Something like that. It's part of one of the fights. It might be seven, but I'm not sure. Do that! Identify yourself! We have to. 
I am Ifrit! Who are you? <laughs> That's what I play these games like this for, is the story. I absolutely love the Final Fantasy stories. There we go. I like that one. With this one. And another. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. What is this then? A civil war. This is what Mama has brought to the table. But for me, I got my mama's back. I thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. No matter what, I got my mama's back. <laughs> my mama got my back. Ward secured, Captain. None of the empty forces remain. We gather them next. We press on with the council chamber. What of the men and women in the market district? The evacuation is complete, Captain. Good. Then all that remains is to dethrone the pretender. There it is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. Nameless, can you give me an uptime? I want to see what time I start it. Ah, oh, hey, a goods lift. Eleven thirty one. Where in Grigor's name did you come from? No! I love that ability. That is so awesome. That doesn't make any sense, Nameless. Oh, I know why. It messed up and, it's okay, I got you. The the gate, wait. Fatal attraction. I don't know what that was. Too slow. 
right there is a really, really good thing against multiple enemies. It is so good for them. Wow, we got him. Okay, so there was a gate right here. <laughs> it's still going. Wow. Turtle, next time you got to pass wind like that, then whoo, go the other way. Henry, they said that they, they're putting out a new controller that is guaranteed to never have any stick drift. It's a Nacon controller. Uh, I'm interested in it and looking at it at least, you know. None shall pass. one of y'all just messaged me I can't look I need to die. That's new owners. That means you buy it. Um, you buy a new console and you get a free game of your choosing, is what they're saying. I doubt that it's got any retroactivity to it at all. That would be cool. Did you hear what I said about the controller, though, man? If Bad ever gets out and gets to play again, he'll be happy. I don't know what's going on with Bad. I haven't heard from him in the last since Saturday. All right, let me uh, get to 
It'll be another few minutes before I can. I have to get to a stopping point or a pausing point. Can you see him anywhere? It must be one of the Dragoon's pets. White Dragon. Build up my stuff. This is actually hurting my hand. I'm tapping it so much. Get him! Go to him! Get him! Sick him! Over here! Go to him! Get him! Oh yes, woo! Oh my gosh, the white dragon slain. All that dodging, oh my gosh. Oh.
Over here, Clive! Are you all right? Goats, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. What now? Is that... the Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there? Hey, Miss Nikki. Wanted. Something's happened. Forget Henry, I'm posting it in I chat. To stop to this. Your Grace! Uh oh. Did it just grow a new mother crystal? So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back! As soon as the flames die down. The Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A Neve you slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out your need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, Goots. 